Welcome back to my dark corner of this sick world. I haven't seen you since the blasted U2 affair. What Just delete the album from your playlist, it'll be fine. This week's film proves that female secret agents can be every bit as kick-ass as their male counterparts. Lipstick recorders. And that however empowering that sounds, you can ruin it all with the wrong name. Are you sure there's not something more patronising you could call them? Maybe the boob troop or the TNA team? Well, I'll be in touch as soon as I round up the girls. You never see a male secret agent who's also a Chippendale, do you? Problems? Maybe they're just lulling their enemies into a false sense of security. They really think the doll squad can stop me. Thanks, John Q. Bad Guy. Uh, what is your evil plan, by the way? Kubonic Cave. Right. One little problem with that. Dr. Kahaman will inoculate each of you against a virus plague. When holding the world to ransom, you really want something that can't be cleared up with a dose of antibiotics. Oh, it's all beginning to make sense. So, with the stakes set almost comically low, the Doll Squad springs into action. Terrific. And this is a problem too, because the film hinges on the idea that despite the biological setback of being born girls... Take it easy, lady, you'll live longer. The Doll Squad are the best in the business. <laughs> Try to kill me, you... But they're fucking incompetent. Although they do have unrivaled competence in wearing bikinis. Oh, absolutely. Crop tops. Assless shorts. But mostly bikinis. Just take us wherever you think is pretty. Which is a worthwhile skill, I suppose. I'm just not sure how much use it is when saving the world from an evil, if ultimately flawed, plan. Senator, uh, <clears throat> sex and security just don't mix. They only succeed because the bad guys are even worse. You fellas like to share some cookies? The squad unmask an infiltrator. Just as I thought. Hard to believe that didn't work. Come in, Joseph. She busted Maria and she took off with her. But then five minutes later... Why hasn't Maria contacted me? Because she was captured! You were told this! I'm sure Maria has everything precisely under control. Idiot bad guy or continuity error of the year? You decide. Damn it, Maria! I could almost forgive the Doll Squad because, despite its obvious sexism, glaring errors and characters so unmemorable, I'm not even sure how many of them there are... Take cover! It does contain some of the most amusing violence ever committed to screen. But I can't forgive it, and for one reason. You may have noticed a similarity to Charlie's Angels, and Angels creator Aaron Spelling is supposed to have got the idea from Doll Squad. The hell does that mean? It means that this film is indirectly responsible for the career of director McGee. It's awful. There are some things I will not forgive. And to be honest, the James Bond theme doesn't help either. The world that we share could be so beyond compare. If you've got a film you'd like us to review, leave a comment below. Click here to subscribe, here to watch more reviews, or if you'd like to watch the latest episode of Dark Corners Undead, click down there. Where's Kim? She was killed in the shack. Let's move.